Hello there and today we are going to learn to count using our abacus. Up till now we have learned how to hold our abacus and hold the abacus with the pencil in our hand. Alright, if you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them in the description below. Now to move on to the use of abacus for counting, let's first see few parts of abacus. Alright. So here, this horizontal bar is known as the answering bar. And can you see this white little dots here? These dots are called as the my house point or the unit point. These are helpful in determining the section of abacus that we will be working on. We are going to use this unit point here as the reference. And we are going to use the bits that are on the left side for calculation. And the bits on the right side will be used later when we are going to do the calculations using decimals, divisions, etc. Alright, now you can see the row of one bead each. And these bits that are above the answering bar are known as the heavenly bits and each heavenly bead has a value of 5 units. You can see this 4 bits here that are below the answering bar 1, 2, 3 and 4. These bits are known as the earthly bits or the lower bits and each lower bead here has a value of 1 unit. And these little rods here they determine the place. So, as we are taking this unit point here as our reference, this becomes our units place or the ones place. The tens place, next is the hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place and so on and so forth. Alright. And one very important point is the beats are counted only when they are in contact with the answering bar. So, for example... This is how we are going to count this bead. Right. And right now, when none of the bead is in contact with the answering bar, the value of this abacus right now is 0. That's right. Right. Now, when we are going to move this one earthly bead here, and now it is touching the answering bar. So, now the value becomes 1. And when we have two earthly bits that are touching the answering bar, it is 2. Correct? And when four earthly bits are in contact with the answering bar, it becomes 4. That's right. And now what about 5? Alright, for 5, we are going to move this four bits away. And one heavenly bit is in now contact with the answering bar. And that becomes 5. Because the value of each heavenly bid is of 5 units, right? And for making 6 on our abacus, we are going to move these two bits together because 5 plus 1 together they are 6. That's right. Now this is 7 and this is 8 and this is 9 on your abacus. So similarly, this is our tens place, hundreds place and thousands place, right? So now if we want to set 32, then it will be 3 and 2, 32. 59, 5 here, 9 here, 59. 26, right? 2 here, 6 here, 26, right? If you want to set 343, it is 3, 4, 3. Right? Are you getting my point? 572, 572. Now, can you read this on your abacus? 355, that's correct. What is this? 
47. That's right. You are now becoming the expert. To stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to touch that red bell icon so that you will get notified every time when I post a video. You can expect two videos in a week from me to learn everything about Abacus. If you want to practice and learn and master it, beginner level courses available on Udemy which is absolutely free of cost. I'll link it in the description below. Hey, stay tuned for more about the Abacus, learning, mastering, calculating, counting and everything. See you in the next video. Till then, keep learning and keep mastering the technique of Abacus with Instabacus.